Hey folks, welcome back to the video. In one of my recent interactions with some clients, I was pointed out a problem that talked about sorting and applying labels to emails. The companies would receive about 20 to 30 emails a day related to their work, related to their feedbacks and stuff like that. But the emails would get lost in their inbox. So they would get different, different, different types of emails and stuff like that, which would uh, maybe basically the, the important emails would get lost in the inbox so using google apps script and gmail app that is present here i thought and i developed a solution that would allow the users to automatically apply labels to the email and uh, move the folder i mean move the email to a specific folder so for this video i'm going to be using a medium stats block that i i get every week from medium this email will contain my weekly statistics on how many views and reads my articles get Normally, I cannot find this email as it gets lost in my inbox and it becomes very difficult for me to search where my email is. On using the new script that I've written, every week the email automatically gets labeled and transferred to the label folder. Whenever I want to check my statistics, all I do is go to the label folder and check my statistics there. So this basically makes it easier for me to keep track of statistics as well as have all the important emails sorted in one specific place. So just let's just get started. So basically this is the email that I am going to be using as an example. This is my stats for the stories. You can see there is no label applied here. And this is basically the email that I get every week from medium. So this email contains my weekly statistics and I'm using the code that we're going to be writing, it will automatically apply the email, apply the label to it and it will transfer it uh, to the label folder. For this blog, I'm going to be using this specific email, but uh, you're free to use any email samples if you want. So let's just go ahead and we'll open up our Google Apps Script Editor. I've already opened it here, but if you want to open, you can either do script.google.com or you can just, instead of email, you can just do script.new, which will open a new Google Apps Script file. So let's just go here and I will just click, okay. I'm just going to open this. I'm just going to say apply label. And uh, before that, we just need to go ahead and create the label. So I'm just going to say medium stats. I'm going to click on create and you can see our label has been created, but there are no emails under this and our current email has only the inbox label on it. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be creating a new variable called const threads. And I'm going to do Gmail app dot get inbox threads. So basically this email gets all the inbox threads irrespective of the labels that it will get all the emails basically that are there in your inbox. After this, we're going to be declaring the label that I'm going to be using. It's going to be medium, medium stats. I'm just going to look at the label here. I'm just going to edit this and copy it as it is. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be creating a new variable. This is going to be an object. It's going to be all underscore labels. This object is going to be containing all the emails that are there, uh, all the labels that are there in my inbox, after which I'm going to do gmail app dot get user label by name, or I'm just going to get, get all the user labels that are there. And after which I'm going to do a dot for each inside which I'm going to be using the arrow function here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an all labels dot push inside which I'm going to be doing label dot get name. So basically I'm going to be getting all the labels that are there in my Gmail or in my inbox and I'm going to be pushing them to the all labels object. So that is going to be containing all the labels that are present in my inbox. Um, and just, I think just for to check whether we have got all the labels, we're just going to do a logger dot log inside which I'm going to be passing the all labels object and click on save. I'm going to go ahead and click on run. Uh, before we even run the code, we need to first accept and review all the permissions that are there. So I'm just going to click on my email here. And I'm going to click on advanced. I'm going to go to my project, click on allow. 
and you can see the label one medium stats and label two if i go here i can see i have three labels label one label two and medium stats that's what what has been printed here so i think our code up till now has worked perfectly all right so we're gonna go now we're gonna be i'm gonna be declaring a temporary label that is called temp label so i'm gonna be opening a for loop if the all labels includes the my label okay we, we have not named this as my label so i'm just going to replace this with my label and if that includes this i'm going to be opening a for loop here and um, inside which i'm going to be creating i'm going to be using the temp label inside which i'm going to do gmail app dot get user label by name and i'm going to be checking it for my label and else gmail.app.create label so this is going to check if the email is present here and if it is not it's going to be creating a new label uh, inside which we're going to be passing the my label variable and um, after this it's going to do a logger.log .log for my temp label i'm going to click on save I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to comment this out first. Click on run. And here you can see the Gmail label. That is, it's only printed once. So our Gmail label has successfully been printed. So now we're going to be going ahead and we're going to do threads app dot for each. And function. I'm creating a message variable here. and here i'm going to be doing a first underscore message i'm going to do message dot get first message subject so basically what this code is going to be doing is we are using the threads variable so the threads variable contains all the emails that are present in my inbox and it's going to be we have done a for each loop inside which we have used the message variable so the, if the message, um, so we're going to be using this message to check if the subject matches our search. So I'm going to do if first message dot, uh, includes stats for your stories. Stories. Open this out. And you can do message dot add label inside which i'm going to be adding my temp label after which i'm going to do message dot move to archive why am i doing the move to archive one is because again and like we don't want to apply the same we don't want the code to run on the same email every now and then that's why we're going to be doing a move to archive one just going to clear the spaces up and i think our code is ready and it's good to go And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save the project. I'm going to say apply labels to emails and click on save. And um, I think, yes, let's just go ahead and run the code. All right, here we can see our exit started and it's completed. And if I go back to my emails and um, I can see that the email has been moved to archive. So if I go to my all mail, and I can see here you can see stats for Anand for stories has the medium stats label added successfully. So here you can see we have successfully added our label to the email. And um, if you want to have a recurring trigger, so for that I'll be leaving a link in the video that shows you different types of triggers according to the requirement that you have. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to apply labels automatically to emails using the gmail app and google app script i hope you understood it um, i'll be leaving the code link in the description you can check that out if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one